What? What is that? That was not made by artificial intelligence. That was made by somebody who was having a very, very, very bad day and was possessed by a demon. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my whole life. If this is where we're beginning with this video, I'm scared as to where we're gonna go. Let me just put it there. I'm not sure. I'm nervous. I'm tired. I'm tired of this. Can we call it artificial intelligence if it does that? Is that an intelligent photo? No, art isn't about the idea. It's about how it makes you feel. And right now, I feel uncomfortable and disturbed. And I feel like this shouldn't exist. Like, I feel like the eyes follow me wherever I go. Yeah, no, still looking at me. Still looking at me, this is, wow. Yeah, still looking at me. Why did the artificial intelligence create that? Why? This is ridiculous. What does any of this mean? These are just people's faces. What? This is so stupid. Okay, I doubt this is made by artificial intelligence. This is a ridiculous photo series. What's it say? It's the caption. AI created fake people. No way. I mean, no way. Those look way too real. Like, what about the backgrounds? I mean, I guess what they could do is just literally take a whole bunch of random people and compile their faces. Kind of like our dreams do. That's what our dreams do. Every person that you see in your dream apparently is somebody that you've seen in passing in your real life, in like real life. Like, we actually can't make up a new face. So if we can't do that, AI can't do that. That's pretty. It's kind of like a... Van Gogh version. But that's a real castle. That's a real castle. So they just painted it? Painted it using Photoshop? Yeah, that guy, like this computer or whatever was literally like, you know what? Uh, I like Van Gogh and I like this castle. I'm gonna combine the two. Um, but I'm gonna be nowhere near as good as Van Gogh because Van Gogh was emotional and that's why his art is so beautiful and exciting to, to look at. What? What, is that an actual real tourist spot? Or they just like made it art? Like let, literally looks like they just threw over a graphic. Like why is this supposed something I'm supposed to be excited about? Asking artificial intelligence what Satan and hell looks like. Imagine if it looks really pretty. What did that look like to me? That looked like, um, that looked like really graffiti. That looked like really graffiti. Like, you know the kind where like, that person tried too hard to be artsy and you're like, okay, you're not Banksy, relax. You know, that's what that looked like to me. So, artificial intelligence, try harder. Try harder. Why is artificial intelligence so upset? You good? What's going on? What kind of data is it collecting that that's what it out? I get it. We're not great. Human race, we're a little messed up, but we've got some good parts too, okay? If the doctor teaches us anything, there's never been an unimportant person, and there's always beauty. Looks fun, looks cozy. Looks like you will never be cold in that room. Uh, looks like a really creepy tourist attraction. Kind of looks like a haunted house. Kind of looks like you could just bring a packet of marshmallows and just roast it over some open fires. Here guys, I'm gonna go over here, you go over there. Asking artificial intelligence what the end of the world looks like. Aw, that's sad. Looks like little houses are burning. the creepiest one out of all of these because it kind of looks like there is a mushroom cloud like just like in that first one and then there's like that little orb maybe it's an asteroid I think it's more likely that oh. real talks I think that asteroids are the scariest thing in space because they literally could come any day now and just 
wipe us out. We're just having a coffee. And all of a sudden, I'm like, what's that? Oh, life's over. Uh, or two nuclear bombs. Like, we drop our own asteroid because every world leader is like, no, I think we should keep a nuclear weapon. Get rid of them. Ugh. I asked an artificial intelligence, what does God look what like? What does he look like? Honestly, that makes way, that makes that, that looks about right. I mean, I'm confused and I feel like God, his, their appearance would be very confusing because their actions are very confusing because he's supposed to be benevolent, but you're also like, oh, why is this, all this stuff happening? Like you could literally come down and go, well, bam, but you don't. So uh, the fact that I'm confused looking at them as well as, you know, understanding now that apparently they exist if that's what they look like wow it's great um cool thanks so much for watching everyone that's all we have time for today i've been your host rachel fisher and until next time stay scared so oh i can't do this all right i already had coffee and i'm like just brain tired body tired i don't understand this okay cool great Ugh. Okay. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching Top 10 Central Dark. I've been your host, Rachel Fisher, and if next time, sorry, I'm gonna do it again. Thank you so much for watching. That's all the time we have for the.